Hi guys. This is the Igor Attack. Today, I will show you how to make your internet faster in just 20 seconds. This is applicable to any device, either a laptop or a phone running any operating system. It's very simple and easy, most of all no application needed. Let's begin. Go to start. Search for network connection. Choose view network connections. Here, you will choose which network adapter you are currently using. You can choose either your LAN network adapter or Wi-Fi. In my case it's the Wi-Fi. Right click on it. Properties. Choose Internet Protocol version 4. Click Properties. By default, your device IP address and DNS is set to auto or DHCP. Now, choose use the following DNS server addresses. Before we proceed, I will explain to you what is DNS and what does it do. But let's check first my current DNS settings. To do this, go to start, type cmd then hit enter or choose command prompt. Enter the command IP config slash all then hit enter. Look for your network adapter which in my case is the wireless LAN adapter or the Wi-Fi. Notice my DNS server is the same with my default gateway. This is the default configuration if you haven't configured your DNS server on your router. We will change this one with the fastest and secured DNS server. But wait! What is a DNS and what does it do? DNS is the abbreviation for domain name system. The domain name system converts domain names, which can be read by humans into IP addresses, which in turn can be read by machines. You can think of the DNS as the address book of the World Wide Web. It contains the IP address for every site on the internet. An example is if you open a browser and enter google.com, the DNS will convert it to IP address such as 216.58.196.46. That is how DNS works. You can search for the best free public DNS servers. These are the two most common used DNS servers. The Google Public DNS which has the primary and secondary IP address. Second is the Cloudflare DNS. All of these free public DNS are fast, secured and reliable. However, the fastest is depends on your geographical location. To check the fastest DNS on your location, open the command prompt again. First is we will check how fast is Google DNS in my location. We will trace route to Google DNS. Since we are using Windows then the command would be tracer 8.8.8.8. This is the primary Google DNS. This three column shows us the round trip time each data packet took to each point and back to your computer. It is in milliseconds which is the MS. The lower the round trip time the faster the DNS. Next is we will compare it to Cloudflare primary DNS. Tracer 1.1.1.1 Hit enter. Now, compare the results which has the lower response time would be the faster DNS on your location. Other way how to check is using the ping command. Let's open another command prompt. We will ping primary Google DNS. Enter the command ping 8.8.8.8 then hit enter. Next is the Cloudflare DNS. Enter the command ping 1.1.1.1 then hit enter. You can compare the response time. The lower time the faster the DNS. Since Google DNS is faster in my location then we will use that to configure our DNS. Before we change the DNS, we will do a speed test first to show you my current speed. My speed plan is 30 megabytes per second but if you notice my download speed. It is only 10 megabytes per second and the download has only around 5 megabytes per second. Let's now change the DNS settings. Let's go back to the network adapter settings. Choose your network adapter. Right click on it. Properties. Choose Internet Protocol version 4. Click on Properties again. Choose Use the following DNS server addresses. For the preferred DNS, since Google DNS is faster on my location then we will input the IP address which is 8.8.8.8. .8 For the alternative DNS, we can enter the Google DNS secondary address or we can also use the Cloudflare primary DNS which is 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1.
For this demo, we will use primary Google DNS and Cloudflare primary DNS. Enter 1.1.1.1. Click OK to apply the changes. Let's verify the configuration. Open your command prompt again and enter IP config slash all. This was my old DNS and now I have this Google DNS and Cloudflare DNS. Once you change the DNS then you should receive the full bandwidth. To verify the results. Let's run another speed test to compare the results. This is amazing. See the difference? It's very simple and easy yet very powerful. The before speed test is times 3 than the result after we change the DNS. From 10 megabytes per second to 30 megabytes per second. If you have multiple devices, you don't need to do this on each of your device. You can simply change the DNS on your router and every device connected to it will receive the DNS configured. To do this, log in to your router. Go to LAN, find the DHCP server. Go to DNS settings. Change the DNS server to your preferred DNS. We will use Google DNS for this demo. Click apply. From now on, every device connected to this router will receive the DNS we configured which is the Google DNS. I'll give you additional tips. Make sure that your network driver is installed and it's up to date. To do this, right click on start. Choose device manager. Expand your network adapters. Find your network adapter either the LAN adapter or the Wi-Fi. In my case it's the Wi-Fi which is the Qualcomm Atheros wireless network adapter. Right click on it. Choose update driver. Click search automatically for drivers. Windows will search your computer or internet for the best available driver and install it on your device. My computer has already the best driver installed. If your device is out of date then it will automatically install updates. Next is check for Windows Update. Go to Search. Type Windows Update. Click Check for Updates. Again, click Check for Updates. It is critical to install security updates to protect your systems from malicious attacks. In the long run, it is also important to install software updates, not only to access new features, but also to be on the safe side in terms of security loopholes being discovered in outdated programs. Once it detects for new updates, your computer will automatically download and install those new updates. You can minimize the window, sometimes it requires for computer restart to complete the Windows update. You can check my other video in the description link below on how to change your DNS on your Android phone or iPhone devices. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, Subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.